Hey guys, so I'm back in Hompi for the fifth time and I have some company. You will recognize this guy, some of you. Hey. Jason Billum from Jason Billum Travel. Yeah. And an old friend of mine, Bo from Poland. Hello. We both lived on the island of Kauai, Hawaii back in 2010 to 2011. And Bo and I have the same birthday. Yes, April it's pretty cool. the third year. <laughs> so uh, the town of Hampi is out there. You can see the Virupaksha temple sticking up there. We are going to cross the river here, hop on this boat, get over there, rent a bicycle, if all goes as planned, and then bike to the Hanuman temple. So that is the plan for today. And then I'm going to hand the uh, camera over to Bo, and he's going to film for something a little different. So there you go. <laughs> So this is it. Let's do it. <laughs> so Gabriel has uh, today cameraman. <laughs> exactly. It's time that my channel advanced. Yes. Right? Trying something yes, yes. new. Yes. All right. So we're here by the Tungo Bajra River. That is the Viru Paksha temple out there. The most famous temple in Hampi. You can hike up to the top of that hill up there. Yesterday we went uh, along the river there on the other side. There's some cool temples and various ruins over there. There's a lot to explore here in Hampi. It is my favorite place in India pretty much and one of my favorite places in the world. This is a place you can stay for a week or two and just explore different corners of it each day. How much uh, per day? Yes. Uh, See, I uh, too bad about no bicycles. So no bicycles. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you want to go for it or yes. okay. you can take a scooter? Do you have three? Can I maybe hitch a ride on the back of one of yours? Sure, instead? sure. Cool. Yeah. Okay, we're taking the bikes out. We're gonna go see some temples, see the Hanuman temple, do a hike, see some ruins, rice fields, all kinds of cool stuff. We got two bikes here. And here is the other one. Seven bucks each per day with you. And two of us, we're gonna go with this one. So, hope it's gonna be fun. So uh, previously this was a uh, area with lots of guest houses and restaurants along it. There were then lots of tourists walking down here, music, all kinds of stuff happening, but uh, they took it out to uh, get it back to its original state of just being a field, I guess. Let's go! So there's something pretty amazing around the corner here that you probably want to try to film. Alright. Beautiful. So yesterday we were talking about Roman ruins, like that looks like Roman ruins really right does. there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like a huge aqueduct or something. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about that, exactly. Yeah, yeah how some of them feel like that yes, kind of grandeur. Yes, yes, yes. Up the hill. Uh, 
somewhere further north on the north bank and the scenery as we were making our way was just incredible as you saw the boulders mixed with coconut trees and the greenery. It's a very unique landscape that I haven't seen anywhere else. So we're going to hike up now on this hill. I believe there is a temple at the top so it should be, it should be nice. Not that. Oh, so the hill is called Anjan Anjanadri. An okay. An Anjanadri Hill. Anjanadri, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hi. 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 So the uh, Tungabhadra River out there, and then after we do the climb up there, we'll uh, keep on going with the bikes out that way, and we don't know what we're going to see exactly yet, but uh, there's more temples out there. There's, of course, the river. A swim would be very nice. Walking through the rice paddies. Looks like if we could find a trail over there, that looks like a good mission to try to get through there, get through that field, get on those rocks, and then there are some temples beside the river on this side. We could try to maybe get down to like one of the ones that we saw yesterday. Like, yes, that would yes. be super cool. Daily uh, visits. I think out of all the religions, to me, Hinduism seems the most like exotic and interesting with the festivals and all the crazy stuff around it. Like, there's a, I think Hinduism is probably the most interesting. Yeah, so much color and yeah. all the different gods and all the stories yeah. and really like interesting, weird stories. Yeah. The creation of Ganesha and yeah. uh, like it's just so unique. <laughs> Tell us how was upstairs, like on the top of the hill? It was interesting. It's the first time I think I might have seen an orange temple like that um, on the Han Hanuman, the monkey god. So, Ultimate views, like the 360 panorama was just amazing to be able to see everywhere that like we biked today and then much further than that, really amazing. Natural cold. Okay. Oh, it's, it's refreshing. Okay. Very good. Mm. How much is it? 30. 30. So it's good. About 35 cents. I'm going to take another one. Are you? Yeah. All right. Hydrate while you can. Mm.
Mm. Oh man, that's the stuff. Am I here for? Yeah, here for. Sir, Ganji, here for. What are we doing? One hundred big ones. No. That's about a dollar twenty-five. But it's it's like a meal here, yep, or even exactly. more. Hello. Hello. Here we are trying Gabriel Traveler's number one recommended drink in India, <laughs> or favorite drink, Badan milk. Bottoms up. Oh wow. <laughs> That is sweet. It's packed with flavor. It's pretty sweet though. Basically like mix this with regular milk 50-50 and then I think it would be good. My god. the sugar in half. That is amazing. I can see why. It's like dessert. So we're at the Durga Devi Mandir. Mandir means temple. Durga is one of the primary goddesses of Hinduism. We don't know exactly what we're going to see here. We just saw a sign for it down there and decided to check it out. So, park the bikes, walking up the hill. Let's find out. Looks like it's kind of a new development uh, thing where they're building this new temple here. We have the new road and uh, that's a Shiva symbol over there. Shiva Lingam with the pillar, the trident. So that's Durga, the picture there, the many-armed goddess riding a lion. And then uh, I guess it's cobras, like two cobras intertwined. Mm -hmm. Your name? My name is Kartik Sadhu. You know me, Sadhu means I will Kartik sit in, Sadhu, uh, yes. Only I will sitting in meditation yeah. and free working and I will eating. Devoting your life to I mean only a God and spirituality. God only. I will sitting in meditation. Yes, good. Within per day, I will sitting in uh, three to four hours. I will sitting meditation. Every day. Morning, morning two uh, morning two hours and the night after two hours. Okay. My name is Karthik. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Good upside, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So we don't know exactly what we're looking at here, but uh, definitely one of the older historical structures. A fort, obviously. And not much left of it by the looks of it. Really just uh, remnants. But it looks like it could have been a full palace, you know, big fort area, little town almost. But the style is so utterly different from the other ones. Different kind of stone, different style. There's a cave back in there. That's all my travels. You packed in a lot into two weeks in that one, though. Yeah. Not quite a bit. Yeah, I did. I did. Um, so I went to a Mag Mela, which is like the off year, okay. also in Allahabad, mm -hmm. back in 2000. And I mean, it was massive. It was like a million and a half people or something. But of course, the Kumbh Mela is like 20 times it's more. Or something. Yeah, yeah. 
And also it gets to a point where if someone told you there are 200,000 people here or there are 20 million, you can't tell the difference. Yeah, it's just everyone, a sea of people just everywhere people. you look. So. It's impossible to actually kind of digest the number mm. while you're there. Mm -hmm. It just feels like a blur. Yeah. Just people and stuff happening. Yeah. So, yeah. Hello. Hello. Namaste, Karnataka. Namaste. So we're back at the Tunga Bajra River. These are called ghats, the stone steps, a common feature in India for people to access the water. Here we have, I forget what the name of it is, but in English, it is the 64-pillared temple. And it is a cremation spot for an ancient king who lived around the beginning of the 16th century. Right out there. Which you might be able to walk to normally, but now the river water is a little bit higher, and so you can see the water's in the way. So 64 columns right there. And the 64 columns represent the 64 different types of art different, you know, subjects of art. I learned all that just from reading the plaque right there. <laughs> what do you think? Should we check it out? Yeah, we should. All right, yeah, let's, let's go, let's go. Um, I would need to buy a few things still, but not much. Okay. It's Some long underwear here. and talking about the Himalayas. Everest base camp trek. I have a hat, a uh, scarf. I will need some long underwear. I need some shoes. I guess all I have is sandals right now. Exactly. You can shop for everything like and cheap. Yeah. I get a lot of travelers just go there. You can buy everything you need. Yeah. Ran a sleeping bag. So this is uh, the first day of shooting. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be good. So I didn't end up filming today, but I just wanted to make a little clip here, show the waterfall area to call. Not exactly a waterfall, but cascading water. Jason there, and there's Bo. About an hour hike from Hompi, walking through banana plantations and rice fields. Got a little lost. The trail has changed since the last time that I was here, but... Uh, a very pleasant walk, and then you get to take a swim. So uh, looking forward to jumping to that nice, uh, cool-looking water. <laughs> 